Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snow Biome Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. These armies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map. This made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. So, uh, we are picking up right where we left off in the last episode, and the decision that we made was to just do a drop chest and keep going to see if we could get uh, our first quest done and then get back to the trader in order to... Uh, get our turn in and sell some of our stuff. But I'm really uh, loaded down right now. Uh, that I think I might actually want to keep. So we're going to make a drop chest. i got to remember where I'm putting all these drop chests too. <laughs> um, so let's just put it right here, I guess. I was looking to see if I could uh, make an anvil. Because if I could make an anvil, then I could... Um, uh, I could just make a cooking pot, but I don't have... You have to have the skill for that, so... All right, let me drop some stuff off, and then I, I will meet you guys over by uh, the quest location. Well, that was close. Yeah, Larry was uh, right around the corner of that building. Was it that building or that one? Yeah, I think it was that one. I couldn't get away from him in time. Oh my gosh, we are at 11 health. <laughs> it's so not good. Oh, jeez. All right, let's... Um, I, you know, I didn't have any platform set up or anything, so there's just no way I was going to outrun him. So we've, we stood and fought, but oh man, my health is so low right now. <sighs> what to do? What to do? Uh, I don't think I have any kind of medical in here, do I? Not really. Fort bites. What does that do? I think all of that stuff is just temporary. Ooh, look at the cold and heat resist this gives. Oh my goodness, you know what? We should actually probably hang on to that. <laughs> we might need it. Oh, wow, what to do? If we go back, see, it's almost it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. If we go back, we could sell our stuff. <clears throat> excuse me. Sell our stuff, uh, eat, heal up, and then come back and do the quest. But we probably wouldn't make the... Uh, but make it back to the trader for the turn in, in on time. On the other hand, I don't want to die again because then I get set back on my XP too. Shit. You know what? Let's just let's go. I've already taken too many risks as it is. Uh, let's make sure this sucker's loaded. Ooh, we don't have very many uh, seven six two rounds left. I might have left some of those back at the base. I can't remember now. Uh, but let's just skedaddle, move on up the road here, and play play it safe this time because. We really paid the price um, when we didn't go back home, you know, the first time, and I and I ended up dying. Uh, we could, nah. Let's leave Larry alone for now. Let's just go. All right, is that other Larry still in here, or did he go away? I don't hear him. Yeah, he must have despawned. Okay. Okay, do we have any uh, iron on us? Not really to speak of. Okay, I was going to get some stuff start and smell, but I need to get some wood, too. I know I keep beware saying that. <laughs> the dead. Yeah, right. Beware the dead. Exactly. All right, we're going to sell some things to you. So we're going to sell you that. Uh, I'm going to sell this because I just... Not a big fan of those things. Uh, let's... S you know, this is actually worth more as parts. Uh, that is usually the case, you know, for the level 1 items. Yeah, see, we'll get uh, 90 out of that. Okay, let's see. What else were we going to sell? We were going to sell... Um, 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 um... This...
I think that's it. Uh, the rest of the stuff I want to hang on to for now. But that does give us uh, 615 coin. That's not a ton, but still pretty much not going to be able to afford anything he has currently. Unless we bought something cheap like, you know, a glue or whatever. But I don't know that we need to do Those that. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. <laughs> it might be better for us to spend our money on canned food. I'm thinking. Still a little nervous about that Larry that was out here earlier. Yeah, he, he must be gone. We'd hear him if he wasn't. <laughs> Famous last words. Okay, let's buy any and every bit of food we can. I'm going to buy um, some goldenrod, too. How much is that? It's, only, it's 48, yeah. Let's get a, a couple of those, because I did get dysentery um, earlier. And uh, so it would be a good idea to have some of that. That still leaves us with 319 coin. So that's not too bad. Uh, all right, let's go back to the base and unload. And we're just going to... I mean, I bought that canned food, but uh, we're just going to have to make some grilled meat. Until we find a cooking pot. I, I need to quit holding out on that because it's detrimental to our health. Alright guys, we're here. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> that was a long ways to go. We came all the way down through the city here uh, to get here. I didn't realize how far away it was. But we are here now. We do have a Larry right over there. That could cause us trouble. Uh, there's also a crack -a book right over there. And we saw we saw a dire wolf earlier too. That's scary. Hopefully that thing stays away from us. So let's see. We've got to uh we've got to retrieve. This might not this little intersection here might not be a bad place for us to put a a uh tower thing in Medul down. All right, let's clear this Larry out of here because uh, he could definitely cause problems for us. Okay, so we got him down. I'm going to... now. Nah, we're actually still doing good on our stamina cap, so we're, we're doing fine there. Oh, by the way, I found some sledgehammer parts, which we can sell for 40 coin and uh, four repair kits in a car on the way down here, which is good, because we actually have some stuff that needs to be repaired, like this, for example. Let's get that repaired right now, just because that's critical to our survival. Um... What else? Yeah, let's get this repaired, too. I'm going to just use all four of them up so we get that slot back. Probably the next most important thing for us to repair would maybe be the crossbow, because this we, we can just repair with stone. Uh, Looks like my armor and all that's good, so we don't have to worry about that. And then the last thing... Uh, either a junk turret or one of our spears, but I don't use the spears a whole lot, so yeah, let's repair the junk turret. And that should uh, that should be good. So that frees us up an other, another slot there. Okay, let's go ahead and do this, and we can always run back out here uh, to our little thingamadoodle if uh, we have some problems. And I'm going to also let's put a torch maybe just on the ground right here just so we can see it if we have to run out here in the dark now I'm uh, I've most likely been in this house but just looking at it right from here it doesn't look familiar to me but more than likely we've been in but I'm not really gonna try and double loot it either let well you know what though we could go into the kitchen and look for a cooking pot and then come back out and start it that might be a good idea let's do that let's do that check this trash too since it's right here
Okay. So fortunately, um, the kitchen's right here, so we can just poke our head in there. I'm not interested in any of that stuff right now. But actually, here, let's pull it out so it'll reset. All right, now, can we get it? Oh, here's a stove here. No, 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 we don't need a grill. <laughs> That's not what we need. Damn it. Oh, we need a cookie pot. Okay, let's go in here. Be really quiet. Very, very quiet. Oh, by the way, I got um, uh, ultimately over 600 wood, so let's make some more uh, wood frames. I don't know, let's make about 30 of those. This is actually fortuitous that we're able to come uh, get into the kitchen immediately. Okay, so that'll buy us a couple of moments of time to jump back out and get on our platform if we get rushed. Okay, we have two sinks. Come on, cooking pot. Uh, Grandpa's moonshine recipe. What the, What does that do? I can't remember what that does. Uh, gives all melee damage a punch that will quake in their boots. Also increases fortitude, damage resistance, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. All right. Damn it. This game just does not want me to find another cooking pot. It's punishing me for being... Oh, nice. It's punishing me for being stupid and leaving the one that it did give us behind. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. Uh, nice. Football helmet could be potentially used for an armor piece. I already checked the stove. There's some medical supplies. Come on, bandage. Ah. Don't need that right now. Okay, I think that's it for the kitchen. The good news, though, is we will have a chance to loot it again when we actually start the quest. Uh, let's peek in here. Ooh, there's a chance for some clothing. Come on, puffer jacket. <laughs> okay. I think that probably just goes back outside again. Okay, let's grab these. Uh, yeah, let's not take any chances. All right, we're going to go back out, and now we're going to actually start the quest for real. And that, again, gives us a chance to do that all over again. Pumpkin seeds. Boy. I'm going to grab those only because you can't find wild pumpkin plants in this game. I mean, I don't think you can. I've never seen them. We might want those for later. All right, guys, let's do this. Uh, oh, hey, we could get some mineral water out of here. Too bad I didn't look at that earlier. Nice! Four things of mineral water. That's good stuff. So these actually have one less cold resist than the boots we're currently wearing, but one more heat resist, which we don't really care about. Uh, yeah, so let's just scrap those. Come on, bandage. Oh, nice. We got an antibiotic and a painkiller. All right, let's take this right now. And then we'll just counter it with this. And we might... Um, I kind of want to save the coffee because it gives us a warmth uh, buff. 
So we might need to go back out and drink one of those mineral waters. Come on, cooking pot. Oh, for Pete's sake. Really, game? <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Unbelievable. Um, okay, I think we've checked everything in this kitchen. Oh, man. All right, let's go see if we can get a puffer jacket. That would be so nice to have right now. No puffer jacket. Okay. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's just run back out here real quick and drop some more stuff off. Okay, here we go. Our um, satchel is upstairs. So I'm going to actually leave all that stuff there for the moment. And let's even upgrade this. Nice. Okay, so we've um, sort of kind of secured this room for the moment. Um, let's put this right there so we have a little bit of light. And we're going to harvest all this for cloth. Come on, warm clothes. Ooh, okay. I'll take both of those, and these we will put on right now. Love the nerdy glasses. That was a nice find. Bookcase. Okay, both of those things will come in handy later on in our playthrough. Oh, for goodness sakes. That's a collapsible floorboard there. Are we fully loaded on everything? <laughs> I just want to make sure. Okay. This is a little spooky. 
See, we can have Zekers all the way up in that attic that could drop right down on our head. Okay, hopefully we can prevent that from happening, or at least happening instantaneously. All right. There's a sleepy right there. Okay, uh... Let's look in here real quick. Whew, okay, this room's clear. How about a bandage? It just wants to give us grain alcohol. Come on, cookie butt. Ah, damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay. I'm not going to worry about harvesting brass right now. Okay, well, I think what we'll do is... Oh, there's a thingamadoodle in the wall here. More purses. Places loaded with purses. Thirty dollar. Make you holla. All right. In case we attract a Larry from outside, I'm just gonna blockade that by a second or two, and let's go ahead and put this down. We'll make another one. So we have always have one in our inventory. All right. Let's fight this guy. Girl. Gal. We might as well get a sneak attack off on her. I'm not going to be able to do a headshot, but we can do a shoulder shot. Off with her arm. Okay. I'm going to make some noise just to see if there's anybody else in here. There we go. Oh, I should have done a power strike on her. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so we have somebody else agitated somewhere. Let's just wait and see if they can get over here so we can kill them while we still have our land claim down. she at? Oh, right there. Okay. Um, let's do this really quick.
Out of stamina. Oh no, item needs repairs. Okay, we can handle that. What the hell? Oh, she she got a, a, a cheese shot off on me, man. No fair. She must... Uh, is she feral, I wonder? Seems like it's taking a long time to kill her. I think she is feral, because... Yeah, it looks like she has glowing eyes. I can't get to her. Come on, lady. We don't have all night. There you go. She's still up there. <laughs> Finally. Good lord almighty. Alright, let's just uh, repair that in case we get another candidate from down below. And I think we're probably free to move into here now. All right, food. Give us food. Red tea, nice. We'll take that. We will take that. You know what, though? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of these now. And we're so cold, we're gonna go ahead and drink the coffee right now too. All good. All good. Out of here, footsteps. More purses. Excellent. We'll take vitamins. This is the house of purses. That's what it is. You know, we have pipes back at the base now. Uh, I'm only hanging on to them to make a forge later on, uh, so we don't need to hang on to more at this point. Oh, look at that. Do 10% more damage against mountain lions. Perfect. That is something we definitely need in this playthrough. Come on, puffer jacket. Ah, those aren't puffer jackets. That's not even worth selling or anything. That's probably something we should just... Ooh, ooh, that does give us one more cold resist. Okay, we're going to take that. I'm glad I checked that and instead of just assumed that we didn't need it. Um, okay, so what are we doing right now we're wearing we're wearing light armor so we would trade seven armor rating N huh wait no the here, here 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 let's do this let's put this on then modify it oh no we can't we can't put the cowboy hat mod on which gives us three cold resist all right, so what we basically just did was we traded seven armor rating for one more cold resist. Is that a good trade-off? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking not. Because that seven armor rating could save us, save our life. <laughs> We've been down to like less than 10 health before. I think we better stick with what we got. It's, it's just, I don't think that's a, a good trade, so... Okay, I want to scrap this. No clothes in there, unfortunately. Okay, I think we're done in this room. And we still need to go up to the attic. Let's do it.
Look at that guy. All right. Um. How are we going to deal with that? Let's... I want to make sure... Oh, shit, there's a buzzard right there. Yowzers. I want to make sure that... That guy can't get up here. Before we take him on. Can we one-shot this guy with our crossbow? I hope so. Here we go. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We can. Okay. Whew. So he... He could probably... Maybe get up here. Well, okay, hold on. Let's just assess the situation a little bit more here first. I would rather get down below so that I can get to him because... If we hit him and he goes rogue, you know, then we lose control of where he is. Okay, I think we're good to engage him now. Um, hey, we got a skill point. Let's put that into a um, machine gunner since we now have an AK. Give us a little more punch with our AK. Wonder if we can one shot him. We're gonna find out. Nope. <laughs> we probably did some decent damage to him though. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, nice. And I'm gonna assume that there aren't any more Z's in here after that gunfire went off. Hopefully, uh, that is not an incorrect assumption. Oh, we're supposed to go back up that way. Okay. I was going to say, what's going on around here? What? There's a burner up in the attic. And it looks like one on the ground, too. Oh, all right. Uh, let's see. How do we want to play this? Let's...
All right. That should prevent those dudes from getting at us. Let's party. Out of stamina. Okay. He might actually break that top block, so we're going to use our pistol on him. Alright, where are you, man? Medical supplies. Alright, we'll take that. I'm not sure where he's at. But he apparently can't, at least at this moment, get right into this room. So we're just going to get the AK out and go in. Oh, shit. Now he comes down. Of course. Naturally. Okay. This is uh, quite the extensive little POI for a tier one. I had no idea it was going to take us this long to get through this thing. And incidentally, I don't think I have ever been in this POI, so that's kind of cool too. It's a new, new experience for us. Uh, we don't need that. I have found in Alpha 18 here that by the time I get to the point where I could potentially make an antibiotic, I already have enough of them to last me the rest of the playthrough. So moldy bread's just not a thing that we need. Okay, we do have a an armor plating mod. Uh, do we have something we could put that on? This does not have a mod, so let's pop it on there. Beautiful. I think it's just a little bit tougher. Just a little bit tougher. All right, now um, our satchel is on this level. It's showing... Uh, oh, over here? Interesting. Okay. There it is. Right up in the chimney. And is there something else... Uh, whoop, inside of here? No, I guess that's just painted. All right. And here is the fat loots. We've already put our frames down here earlier, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, weapons bag. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, that we can put on our hunting rifle, and that we're going to probably just sell. Um, can we put this on the AK, actually? We can. What's that do? Increases accuracy and handle when aiming weapons. I think we would be better served to put down a hunting rifle. On the other hand, though, it's going to increase the damage of our AK when we're in those oh shit moments. So yeah, uh, our AK currently has 41 damage, now it's got 45. I think that was a, probably the best move for that. All right, let's look in the big chest here. Oh, look at that! A green, uh, green. <laughs> Hello, that's yellow. Yellow pistol. Beautiful. That's a nice upgrade. And we also have a grave digger mod, which we can uh, put on our, our shovel, which we left back at the base. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's. Before we get too terribly excited, though, let's just make sure that it is in fact better. It should be because it's freaking a yellow, but you never know. Okay, it is ten more damage. Beautiful, you guys. Now we do lose three three rounds in the chamber, but that's okay. Ten more damage is significant. 
um, better in every other way too. So let's put that on there. Plus we can put another mod on here um, at some point when we have one to put on there. So that increases our range damage on this uh, to 46 and uh, a nice a nice little upgrade for us. Love it. And uh, then we just have these two food crates. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to take that right now because that's going to get our stam cap all the way back up and get us uh, 20. Yeah, that'll maxim, uh, maximize our health, too. And we got some more sham. Beautiful. Okay, that was a nice little haul for us. It really was uh, for the early game here. I am not complaining about that at all. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way back to the trader. What time is it? It's 530. Yeah, we got plenty of time to get back to the trader. Whoa. Oh, man, that scared me for a second because I'm going, is it Horde Night? <laughs> it's going to be tomorrow, though. We have to figure out that one. Uh, anyway, I will meet you back at the trader. Uh, again, I'll keep the camera running on the way back in case something crazy happens. But otherwise, I'll see you back at the trader for our turn, and then we'll have to wrap up this episode. Surprise, surprise. Iron pickaxe. I suppose you want some. All right, uh, we have now. the steel pickaxe, Here you go. and we do need boots for our heavy armor. So we're going to take the boots, even though the pickaxe is worth... No, actually, I guess the pickaxe pick isn't worth more. Uh, 2750 XP and 330 dukes. Okay, let's take the one that's about a kilometer to the south. That's, that's going to put us more uh, in line with where we need to go. Okay, good. So that'll put us right here, and then we ju we'll just need to scooch on over to this area. Somewhere over in here is that gas station that we camped out on, and we can get our cooking pot. Uh, assuming, you know, we don't find one between now and then. Uh, and we'll do also do the quest at the same time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was a good episode. We made some good progress. We got some good stuff. Um, and uh, it'll only go uphill from here, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the base, drop stuff off, do some inventory management. And uh, then we will head out uh, to go back down south to get our damn cooking pot and also to do that quest. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.